night. Great. Great. Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. Rain came down. Hit a patter on the camper. Beautiful. Look, look, look. Wow. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. Catch it now. Now pop it. Ooh. What are you doing, Cliff? You still a mad scientist? Come on, let's go. I got the camera going over here. We finally found the orchard. We're going to pick out some delicious Macintosh and uh, what was the other kind, Cliff? Macintosh and what? Uh, Portland and uh, Macoons. Macoons? Now take it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. The furthest away is the best. Of course. It always looks greener on the other side of the tree. The best. I got it. Meg, where's the best? Okay. We got it going, Meg. That's it. Get the one all the way up on the top there. Get on my shoulders. I can't reach that high. Huh? Oh, how about climbing it? Oh, you're not allowed to climb the trees. Nice. Let me see what one looks like. Hold one out there for me. Let, let, let me see so I can sell it later on. Oh, man, that is nice. Oh, beautiful. Oh, man. Get the apple on the tree. Get that apple. Get the other one now. Oh, oh, that finishes. One more. One more. Oh. Hey, oh. couple more. Uh, okay, now you gotta fill the bag. Nice and slowly. Uh, turning uh, red. Uh, uh, down, nice and slowly. Uh, <laughs> uh, you okay? Oh no, I'm I top of that tree there. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Up a little higher. That's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. Oh man, that's it. Well, we're, we're climbing up the mountain now to get some uh, golden delicious. Cliff, it's really uh, chugging along here. Come on, let's go, Cliff. What was that? Try one of them apples, Meg. One that looks good to you. Come on, Rich. Why didn't you go on? I was looking for Megan and Stacy. I didn't see him there. I don't think I'd be on the ride. Cliff, Megan, how come you weren't on the ride? Huh? I can't see you. Where are you? How come you didn't go on the ride? Oh, that looked like a nice ride. Hey, oh, look at this here. Welcome to our tent. This is the life of Riley. Can you see okay? This is a sleeping bags. More bed. And Stacy's where? Hi. Me, Casa, Sue, Casa. Daddy's. This is Stacy. Okay. 
I miss mommy. You do? Boy, I'll tell you, that's being relaxed. That's great. Very interesting book. Oh, look Daddy, at that. it's my book. That's my book. book. What? My book. Why don't you show us the Let's fire, hon? Come on, go over to the fire a little bit. Oh, they're re relaxing. Stacy's doing her homework, and Meg is uh, relaxing a little Show bit. Show how we're making corn. Corn. Barbecue corn. Show, show me the corn again, huh? Barbecue corn. Well, it looks like a dead fish. When you watch this videotape, Stacy's very busy in the tent, working very hard at her homework. What you guys doing? What are you guys doing over there? I had Megan Somewhere. Uh, what kind of pills? What did it look like? I had it right on top of this. What did it look like? Oval? Yeah. White? Yeah. And the, <laughs> in the trailer. Dad thought it was bright, and he yelled at me. Uh. Funny, good you're getting me, huh? Okay, it's just okay. It's time to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on around. Look on the cabinet. No, not on there. Look on the cabinet. What you doing, Rich? You see it? Getting the fire going? Use yeah, some of that old wood. I have a fire in it. That looks like that. That's very good. What are you making? You want these turned? No, I just turned them. Oh, okay. Then we'll leave them. Boy, it looks okay, like the man. smoke is going in the right direction, huh? Yeah, right in my face. Okay, I'll get you guys. Get you go. Okay, we'll play it again. Yeah, yeah this, this is this has got to be the, uh, the, the height of our weekend. Toasting <laughs> cinnamon bread <laughs> and Grandma falling down. And she's, oh, she's really a picture. Look at this. A Frankfurter. Would you like some? I'm a nine point two. <laughs> I'm Don't make me laugh, with it. That's beautiful. Oh, look! A look at look toast. at this. Toasting, done, toasting it? bread, cinnamon raisin bread over the fire. Raw. Because the toaster is somewhere in the camper. I don't know. Oh, it's only in the trail. Everything's in the trail. Yeah. They helped them out cooking something. Maybe make me a Frankfurter. Yeah. I wouldn't oh, mind one. Good. Huh? What do you got, Cliff? Mayonnaise on toast? Oh, not mayonnaise, uh, margarine. Oh, that's better, Cliff. I was going to say, I know you're a little uh, different. Oh, Let's show that, Stacy, Megan. That's it. Oh! It's not bad. It's only third degree burns. Right. What'd you write? Nothing. It's good. Mm. You want a skewer? All right. You want a what? Skewer. Who's going to make me a Frankfurter? The photographer. Now, I'm not going to cut this out. This now is. Cut it out. I should really take a still picture of this. Cut it out. Too hot. What are you making there? Frankfurter. Frankfurter. Cut it out. Right. That's enough. Cut. No more. No more. <laughs> 
What are you cooking? <laughs> raisin bread. Raisin bread? Never heard of raisin bread over a fire. This is the first. Oh, God, am I going to get sick? Hey, we're leaving. Had a great we're leaving. time. We're leaving. Trailer getting back down. Had a great time. Med way. Right to pop. Let it go. Finally getting the tree cut. We have some people that came in from Long Island Lighting Company. And uh, I'm talking uh, to the VCR. It's pouring outside. He has two people. He climbed up the tree with that cord. Shimmy up professional. He's smiling now. He knows I'm taking pictures of him. He's really happy guy. It's costing a hundred dollars, but it's worth it for me not being up there. It's gonna cut the wood down, you'll see later on. Put it in our fireplace so we can have it for camping when we wanna go away. Branches down. He's coming down now to the lower ones. The house will never look the same, that's for sure. Oh, there he comes with that pole. Looking good. Got the whole thing cut down. Now everything is on the ground. I, I'm going to pick it up and take it away, leave some firewood for us for the camping. And it looks pretty good. I don't know how he did it, but uh, every, every man to his own profession. He was very careful, he did a very good job, nothing was damaged on the house. Now they're going to start working on the small stuff. As you can see, it's all over the backyard.
Just another group of school children headed home from a trip. But these goodbyes may be forever for Soviet exchange students who've been the guests of families in the Sachin School District since December 18th. The students ranged in age from 12 to 17 and came to this country as part of the International Education Forum. Some of their teachers came along as escorts and found America enchanting. The most special things are American people. They're beyond my understanding. They are so kind and generous. They're so kind-hearted to us Russians, I mean. I like them best of all. She said trips to the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island It was lots of great experiences for both sides. I um, bought a, um, a tape of Madonna. America is nice, I think. Uh, I like America. I want to stay more for two weeks, um, for two weeks more. I want to come back, and they want to come to Russia. My pizza hot, yes. We made pizza by ourselves. And some of the students weren't used to American ways of doing things or the technology that's available in this country. One morning, um, Tamara wanted to iron so I gave her my iron and she took it and she put it on my stove and I screamed what are you doing she said well in Russia this is how we heat an iron but on a more serious note coordinator Mary Dye says today's political climate has made this all possible they put up Christmas tree lights together my children and, and the Soviet children and went in the house and had a pillow fight and we were thinking this is the way children should fight with pillows and with snowballs not like it was two years ago where our children could have met each other in the trenches some host families say they'd love to have the students back for another visit if that's possible but in parting they sent them home with a little bit of america in their hearts in holbrook tracy burgess news 12 long island 1972 season will be head